Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to learn how we can send a photo or an image uh, with the photo network without sending as a file. So, okay, let's do this. Uh, we have two solutions to sending a photo. First, uh, save the photo as a file and send the file to someone else, but in this solution, which are, I want to talk about it today, is uh, I will convert uh, the photo to the list of the bytes and then send these bytes as a data uh, from user 1 to user 2 and then in the user 2 device try to convert these list of the bytes to the, uh, a new photo. Okay. For doing that, uh, for the network multiplayer, I use the photo network, which is you can uh, buy it from, uh, you can download it from your package manager or asset store of Unity. And after you uh, set up the Unity photo network, uh, you will come to the photon, photon Unity networking, and demos, and in here, photo, uh, pawn basic basics tutorial and in here scenes we have pawn basics launcher uh, pawn basics room for one user and for two users we just need these three scenes so you need to add all of them to here uh, launcher room for one room for two for example because uh, I can just w test with uh, two users, my Unity editor and another exe. If you want to uh, test with several users, you can uh, use another scenes or even make your own uh, photo network scene and multiplayer base. Okay, so in here we need to have something, uh, it's, I call it a share photo. It is a C sharp script, and also uh, that photo I want to uh, share. This is me and my beautiful cat. I want to share this photo uh, with this new technology. Uh, let's let's see what is the functions of this sharing. It is really simple. First, you need to have using photon.pawn and also using unityengine.ui. And after we have four different variables. First, public photon view for uh, basic of the network, and also the internal array of bytes and photo data. I call it photo data, and also the that image I want to share, uh, drag and drop or anything in here. However, uh, in the previous. Uh, clip I talked about how we can save and load a photo in the unity as a list of the bytes so you can take a look at it on my youtube channel and learn how we can uh, take a snapshot from our uh, screen or our game and convert it to the list of the bytes then share this photo to uh, with the photo network and the final uh, uh, variable is uh, a raw image of the Unity UI uh, for demonstrating the final photo in our UI page. Okay, in here we have two functions. First, public void, I call it a shared photo system. Uh, in here we have the photon data, the array of bytes, in here equal image dot encode to PNG. Okay, so it's try to convert the uh, my photo to the encode of the, the PNG and uh, make it as an array of bytes. And then in here, I have a calling system for a RPC uh, function. Uh, upon RPC, it is the uh, basic system of messaging. Uh, the data between uh, the users in the network of the photon network. So in here, uh, it's uh, uh, I say okay, let's the 
target of this RPC for all you can make it for buffered or anything else but I propose to use all and also in here we have uh, we need to have true for this boolean and finally uh, this data which is I want to share the array of bytes okay and th uh, this is for sharing and this is for receiving the data okay what is our receiver RPC underline share photo system uh, you need to be sure this name has to be the same with this guy exactly the same RPC underline share photo system RPC underline share photo system and in here the array of bytes I call it again photo data but it is internal just works in this function and I create a new uh, texture 2d I call it texture and equal new texture 2d and it is my weight and height 10 and 10 but whatever it's, it's supposed to be and in here I say okay texture this guy dot load image load image is a system for uh, creating a photo from bytes uh, several bytes I call it uh, it's called has been called data and I put the my uh, array of bytes a photo data inside of its parentheses so I said okay let's to create a texture from these bytes and finally uh, okay loaded image that's a raw image of the, our UI the texture of it will be equal by my internal texture so let's to review the, our functions okay this is our photo image let's to convert it to the uh, array of bytes and also share it in the network as uh, bytes in here and in here we will receive the photo data the array of bytes in here try to create an empty, an empty texture and make the texture uh, as a photo of these bytes and finally set the texture of our UI or whatever the texture of object whatever whatever you want equal that texture we have made by our array okay final step uh, in the scene of room for two because I want to test with two users for room two I create a simple photo uh, raw image for demonstrating the photo as you can see it is just a simple raw image and also I have added the my script share photo in here and I create uh, a new function I, it's called photon view you can find it in here just uh, search photon view in here and add to your uh, object and drag and drop this photon view variable to this guy photon view and also in the image uh, you need to drag drop your photo which you want to share in the network it can be manually or uh, automatically by reading your script uh, uh, the assets from your script and this is the load data I drag and drop this photon view again into the here but uh, you need to be assured that uh, this photo has to be default and 2d texture sharp shape and also it's um, uh, it has access to read and write whenever you need to be default 2d read and write and apply after that your photo can be decode and encode by your script and share as a data in the photon network finally uh, you need to create a button in here I called it share and drag and drop my photon view script into the here and between these sh uh, components and scripts you need to find your script share photo and 
find that function which was about the sharing the photo share photo system and here this guy is share photo system as a public uh, you know to be sure this has to be public because if it is not public it's not readable by your editor okay let's export an apk uh, an exe or apk whatever you want because it is a cross-platform it uh, you can test it in every platform between two computers between two phones two vr headsets or even computer and um, headset computer or mobile whatever you want because it works with photon if photon works on its uh, specific platform you can use this system for that as well okay i put uh, my uh, ex settings in the resolution and presentation in the windowed and resizable window and i exported an apk with this method okay okay let's have a test oh i need to open my test exam okay i create a new name a new character here i call it honey perfect as you can see because uh, we have in the network we have just one user and this is test uh, it is uh, room one and here we have root room one but uh, we have added the, our ui canvas and uh, system to the room two so it works in just room two let me explain i create my name apple fazl perfect now we are in the room for two so i want to click on share that's it perfect it works perfectly i click it on the share of the my uh, unity editor version and it's uh try to read the photo convert it to the array of bytes and share it shared it into the network and then it received fastly and uh, quickly and in here in the my uh, exe version it received with a delay because uh, in here sharing and receiving it's local but sharing the data between this unity editor and this exit in on one computer it works with the uh, database of the data server of the photon so it takes time it's normal and as you can see it works okay you can use this method for sharing your photos our uh, screenshots between two or several users uh, with the photon network okay i hope this video will be useful for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel and make a like and comment for this video have a great time bye bye